Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel, but today is a little bit different. I have a couple of mystery boxes from a company called Of Aspen that works with different artists and they create these mystery packs often with themes to go along with their product drops. So they have a beautiful brick and mortar shop that I've never visited. And of course they have an online shop. And then when they create these drops with hundreds of products, they will be like beautiful pens and notebooks and stickers and more lifestyle kinds of products as well. And then you'll get, if you are on the email list, you will get around midnight, a secret password that will get you into the drop. And then I always look at the mystery packs. Now the mystery packs are available on their site regularly as well but they sell out really quickly unfortunately I am not affiliated with this box or this company in any way but I have really enjoyed the few mystery packs that I have gotten now the re most recent drop was one that I knew I was probably gonna drop some money on and I was a little bit bummed about that because uh, again I don't have any deals or discounts with them and I don't have any to share with you but I just think it's a great company and one that those of you who love beautiful paper products and love supporting artists might be interested in trying out sometime. So they had the Explorers drop, which was described as kind of a cross between back to school vibes and archaeology vibes. And they had quite a few different mystery packs. So I'll tell you about what you get to know about the mystery pack and how I decided to purchase them. But it just came in a plain brown box. I believe the shipping is $9 and I did go ahead and splurge and buy two mystery packs. Usually I limit myself to just one, but I just couldn't help it with this theme and the themes of the mystery packs that they had involved. So they sent both mystery packs in one box with all kinds of packing peanuts. And at first I really wasn't sure how I was supposed to differentiate the two, but then I realized that they actually uh, color coded things for me, which was really nice. Uh, so I did kind of unpack things a little bit just to make sure that I would know what to share with you in this unboxing. Let me just make sure that I got everything. So let's go ahead and open up the sort of little invoice that I got in here. Here. Of course, it has beautiful washi tape because that's what they do over of at of Aspen. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing one of their Halloween boxes again this year. It was a pretty penny. I think it was over $200, the one that I got last time, but it was really delightful and they did put a lot of effort into it and made it a little bit more of a narrative than having just a straight listed product card. So inside I have, let's see, I have my invoice and I think it's really sweet that um, we got a nice little handwritten thank you note, of course. And then we also got a bonus sticker. Uh, we got a bonus of Aspen sticker, of course, and she calls the, uh, the um, customers little leaves, which is sweet, especially in the emails. And then we got this beautiful bonus sticker, which I just think is gorgeous. Isn't that neat with those corals in there? I'm assuming that's the bonus sticker that she's talking about, but that is kind of the vibes of, of the drop. So let me go ahead and put that off to the side. I actually thought that that might have been part of it. So look, this totally goes with it, right? So it's the Explorer. It's got some travel. It's got some vintage. It's got some dark academia going. It says, your heart is full of wanderlust, wanting to explore the world and uncover the unknown. From forests to deserts to the deepest parts of the ocean, your curiosity grows to fill every corner of the planet, studying maps and always keeping your trusty compass by your side. The world is here to be explored. And if anything's true about a little leaf, you love a good adventure, whether it's with in the pages of a good book unfolding in your mind or steps away in a new city happy explorers drop i hope you find what you're looking for love caroline um it was kind of funny because it says from forests to desserts versus deserts um <laughs> that's my editor brain always going um oh but uh I, I, I do love forest to dessert, so, but I just love this image and even just the printing of this little note is beautiful. You could you even frame this image, which I love. So they tell you about the vibe of each of the mystery packs with images. So there'll be like a gallery of images to kind of give you the feeling. Um, I got two boxes. I got the Tree of Life Traveler's Mystery Theme Set and the Seafloor Explorer Mystery Theme Set. And there were a couple other ones that I wanted to get too, but I had to have some self-control. So the Tree of Life Life Traveler's Mystery theme set was $60. The Seafloor Explorer was 
$80. So yes, I spent some money. That's why I have to watch my advent box budget, you guys. And this is what they tell you. That the in the Tree of Life Traveler's mystery theme set, there would be five items, and they describe them as one big, two medium, too small. So five artists and brands are represented. So five items, five different artists slash brands. And the color scheme, they tell you, is rust, brown, and warm. So when I was unpacking the single box, I found, of course, these rust colored brown items, right? So some things are bundled together. In contrast, the Seafloor Explorer mystery theme set, the color scheme was teal, aqua, and cream. So I knew everything that had those kinds of bows on it would be in the um, Seafloor Explorer mystery set. So let me just uh, hold that up for you. So, well, one of them is actually wrapped. So this was my Seafloor Explorers box that I'll put off to the side. And then this obviously, based on the color scheme, is my Tree of Life Traveler set. So it says, you didn't know what made you this way, but you always had an innate lust for travel. You couldn't help falling in love with every country you visited, the languages, the food, the animals, roaming the earth. You had to remind yourself to take pictures, record your thoughts, and journal your memories to never forget your countless adventures. So of course, the traveler in me could not resist that box. And also that one was actually a pretty reasonable price at um, $60 for five items. So you know, that's that's not too bad, really, like, you know, 12 to $15 per item. So you can see there was this nice little print card. And I'm going to slide that off. This is beautiful. Look at this tree of life image. I love that. So that's just the card. Again, it's kind of like an extra art print to have because it's printed on this nice, thick but soft paper. And then on the back, they do tell us what the items are. So I'm going to prop that up in front of me and go ahead and open these items up. There's not a lot of description, but it's just nice because that way I make sure that I have all of the items. Of course, they have double knotted this bow so it's going to be a little bit challenging for me to get this off of here without cutting it and i wanted to preserve the ribbon if possible but i don't know if i'll be able to do that in the scope of this unboxing normally i would just sit there and sit there and sit there and take the time to do it but today i think i will be a little bit quicker with it so all right so we got this beautiful oh this is gorgeous all around the world travel journal in this beautiful rust color uh so this is from new york and look at it so it says travel on it now i usually you guys know me i like my um perforated pages or i like my spiral bound for travel journals but look it's got a giraffe and an elephant in the gold foil there on the front let's see it says all around the world on the back and then inside some really pretty cream pages oh wow we've had thoughts uh for scrapbook section here different pages we have oh we have different journey number three so there's different journeys so it's not like one that you have to use for just one trip so that's kind of cool i do like that it does have this lovely uh, sort of sage colored bookmark let me show you that sage colored bookmark so let's see how many different journeys we have uh, your summary in terms of your wish list and weather uh, we have pages that tell you your accommodation details your budget and packing pages so I don't know how much I would actually use this because I like to have everything in my Excel spreadsheets. I'm a little bit crazy that way, but I do love the idea of having multiple trips in here. So we have room for six journeys and they actually create you this nice little table of contents with the page numbers so that you can easily go to them. That's really cool. And then of course we have these different colors along the corners to also help you color coordinate that. So that's a really cool travel journal. I don't know if I'll use it, but but I think it's pretty. Then we got this quilted tree fine art print. That's really lovely from Paul's Pollen Sheck of the Hills. Uh, so this is from Fairfax, Vermont. So that is really neat. I don't think I've ever seen one. It's almost like what somebody created one of those uh, sweaters or almost like a tribal necklace for this tree. And then we also got some items that came in this little organza bag. So let's see. I want to make sure that we have time for our other box as well. 
We got this cute little 48 page memo book uh, that just says field notes. This is a little bit more my speed for a travel journal. So this is out of Chicago, Illinois. Ooh, and it is graph paper. That's kind of cool. And then look, it's got these, uh, a ruler along one edge. It's got some like conversions to, I think that's really awesome. It tells you like practical applications for using it. Uh, this is really cool. I like a I like a good old school like little field notebook pocket size. We also got these spotlight page flags. Ooh, look at the colors of those. Those are awesome. It's uh, saddle Moscow and crepe, and it is from a fantastic. Uh, stationary company paper goods company called cloth and paper I've definitely gotten a few cloth and paper items from uh of aspen before and other mystery boxes but look at those really pretty earthy colors and then certain pens will write on those nice and i love me a page flag i definitely do use those in my travel planning because I do like to buy guidebooks sometimes. And then finally, oh, this is one of my favorite kinds of pens. Beautiful color too, that nice rust color. And this is, of course, our tree bark colored Micron Fine Liner from Sakura. Uh, so this is perfect for that. Love these, love these little, they're like felt tip pens, but they are just so great. I love writing in them and they would definitely work on those page notes. All right, you guys, moving on to our seafloor, um, our seafloor explorer mystery theme set. So this mimics this right here, very similar image. Uh, let's see what it says. So this one had 80 eight items, two big, one medium, five small, six artists and brands represented, again, out of eight items. So there's some duplicates in terms of artists and brands. And again, the color scheme was teal, aqua, and cream. You counted to three slowly, calming your mind and reminding yourself to take nice, slow breaths, but only out of your mouth because you were below the surface, diving for specimens for your next research paper. As you moved past a cluster of brain coral, you were reminded of the countless nights of studying from the past years of school. You were almost done with your studies. Being a marine biologist was always your dream, and now you were almost there. Your favorite was always the fossilized coral scattered on the ocean floor amongst the shells and twisting seaweed. Grabbing a sample, you retreated to the surface where you were giddy to start writing notes in your trusty journal. You couldn't risk leaving out any details of your latest discovery. So I loved that description too. So again, eight items for $80, so a little bit pricier. Would have definitely gone for it uh, no matter what, but uh, it was a harder decision since I had already gotten the Tree of Life set as well but let's start with the biggest item which is this so again we had three little bundles here this one is obviously a notebook and then again we have some pens but this is from cognitive surplus they always do the coolest items i think that their mystery packs their mystery boxes are also amazing i've opened a couple of those here on the channel too but i just love how they color coded it because at first i was a little bit disappointed i was like um how am i gonna tell what's what but they uh they, they managed to make help me figure it out. I don't know what had happened if I did three boxes. They would have had to send me a really big box, but I guess everything would have been color-coded then too. So let's start with our mug. So this is one of the big items. So, you know, in the Tree of Life one, obviously the big item was the travel journal and then our two medium were probably the field notes set and I would say probably, or the field notebook and the um, page liners and then I or maybe it was the print honestly and then the three two small items would be the pen and maybe the page notes all right oh this is pretty I thought it was going to be one of their scientific drawing ones um, and I used to fancy myself I wanted to be a scientific uh, artist like back when I took biology in high school I spent so much time doing all of my um artwork basically for it so i always loved all the like old school like watercolors and stuff the things that are like in the peabody museum in um massachusetts and i i wanted to be that kind of artist but i did obviously did not follow that so this is the brain coral ceramic mug from cognitive surplus i think it's really cool because it's uh i think uh, someone who like studies neuroscience would love it too but obviously it's just inspired by brain coral which really does look like brains i kind of love this like smoky edge it's like squatty it's kind of perfect for fall it's got this really pretty speckled very faintly blue like it's kind of a smoky blue um it almost looks like uh like a 
tin mug that you would use for camping, but it's got this etched into it. So you, I hope you guys can see. So maybe you can see now the shadow. So it is actually etched into it. So that is really, really cool. It is dishwasher and microwave safe. So that makes us love it even more. So we got this one. Let's see. And again, everything is on the back. That's from Cognitive Surplus, which is out of Portland, Oregon. I have a trip planned to Portland, so I want to check out Cognitive Surplus if they have a shop. And I also want to check out, of course, Portland Leather Goods if I possibly can. And then let's go ahead and open up this beautiful little package. It actually has two items on it and, a, and you know, just a bow that's just going to give me issues. I think they did a really nice job of packaging everything but not not super conducive to the unboxings. I I should reach out to them and see if they would give me a discount code for all of you. Um, it probably wouldn't work for the drops because again, a lot of things, especially the mystery packs, sell out very, very quickly. However, I would like to uh, see if I could get you some sort of, some sort of like maybe an extra sticker or something. All right, so we got a seaweed mini notebook. This is cute. It says, Les algues comestibles du Saint Laurent along the edges. That's what it is. Oh my goodness. Is that really a coral? It looks like some almost weird headpiece or jellyfish or I don't know. This is from Raoul and Simone out of Canada. It's just very simple. It does have a little bit of a crease there along there so you can open it up pretty good when you start to write in it, but it's just plain white pages. But what a striking image. It almost, if you told me that was like an octopus or a squid or something, I would believe that as well. But it is uh, an algae comestible du Saint Laurent. All right, an algae, maybe it's an algae. Okay, so it says that it's a seaweed mini notebook. Oh, I guess that's a seaweed slash algae. So it's a really pretty seaweed on a black background, stunning photography. Then we also got, so wrapped up inside of the mug, you guys, there was some tissue paper and I was wondering why they put that in there. It's because of this. This is so cool. Fossilized coral it says Mother Earth Indonesia is the company, but it's a piece of fossilized coral in this gorgeous teardrop shape. Isn't that neat? That is so cool. Like I was not expecting something like that in a, a mystery box from from of Aspen, but this is probably gonna be my favorite item. You know, not functional at all, but like this beautiful treasure. Like it's almost something like I would expect in like a bird moss box. All right, and then we finally have this over here. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about our other big item. So the big items in this were probably the notebook and the mug. And then we had five small items. So this is one of them. So this is, oh, this washi tape is stunning. Science inspired washi tape. Hopefully you guys can see, oh, come on, focus, focus. Look at that. Look at how vibrant this washi tape is. It's gorgeous. This is also from Cognitive Surplus. They have the coolest washi tape over there. That is one of the things that is almost always guaranteed in their mystery boxes too. But look, you know, washi tape is usually kind of um, faded. It's almost got that translucent quality to it. And so a lot of the times the images aren't crisp and clear, but look how crisp and clear these are. That is so cool. I love that. That's really nice washi tape. So pretty. Jesse, are you watching? I feel like you would love this washi tape. <laughs> All right, and then we have three pens. So we got a teal le pen from Marvi Uchida, uh, Japan. So I think that is this one. I think it's this teal pen and I love these as well. Little felt tip, little ooh, teal. Love these pens, you guys. I'm a jelly roll pen girl for just daily writing, but for like fancy stuff and when I wanna keep my notebooks and my day planner fancy, I really prefer pens like that. We also got this uh, Sea Stardust Jelly Roll uh, Sakura pen. This is like the classic jelly roll. Like this is what I used when I was like much younger when good pens first came out and I realized I could go to art stores and get good ones. So again, in that pretty teal color. And then finally, Aqua Stabilo. Love these guys too. Love these pens. This is uh, Aqua Stabilo 88. That's like a lucky number for me. Uh, and this is out of Germany, of course. So the Le Pen and the Jelly Roll Pen out of Japan. This one out of Germany. It's kind of got that classic like look of almost like a pencil. So we got these three fabulous pens. I am so excited. And then these are like, when you look at the like profiles of these pens, these are like the pens that I absolutely love. <laughs> 
So let's finally look at our uh, big notebook. This is, um, let's see, this is from Cognitive Surplus. So we had three Cognitive Surplus items. And then, uh, like I said, there were six different brands out of the I eight items. This is a classic Cognitive Surplus kind of print with these scientific drawings on it. Um, I like that it's got kind of like rounded edges to it. And then it says the hypothesis notebook series with dot grid paper yes amen look at the interior cover the liner it's so pretty and then oh this is so lovely i love me some graph paper now if this had perforated pages this would be one of those perfection notebooks for me but these do actually tear out pretty nicely uh, it has a gray bookmark ribbon Let's see, kind of a silvery one to go with all the pretty silvery things that you would find in the deep ocean. But another fabulous box. I do feel like the value is absolutely there. I love this brain coral mug. It's just kind of different. Uh, we got the mini seaweed notebook. I got the fossilized coral. Oh, that is so, so cool. We got our ocean fossil journal from Cognitive Surplus, our really stunning washi tape, and that is uh, also from Cognitive Surplus. Three different pens. So that was our, um, our eight items. That's just makes me so happy one two three four five six seven eight you guys let me know in the comments below which of the two boxes you liked the most check it out see if they have any of their mystery packs still available or just go and check out the whole uh shop they've got such beautiful beautiful items um a lot of cool themed items so if you have someone who is really into science or someone who just appreciates beautiful paper goods they would really appreciate gifts from there i hope you all enjoyed uh again the company is of aspen i'll leave a link for you in the description box below i hope Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon let me know if you like seeing mystery boxes that aren't necessarily subscriptions on the channel there's actually a whole playlist of those and I'll see you soon